flat at the bottom one, flat at the top, has to sit at that angle, and that angle has to be the same, mirroring both sides, uh, obviously the same as the collet, so you need to make adjustments to get that fit in. So I'm nearly there, but when I'm putting, putting the collet in, I sort of line at the bottom, at the height I want it, not going too low or anything. And if you can see at the top, there's a bit of a gap, so it can, it can rattle. So that means I've got a little bit of a gap there, that's where I'm looking. So it rattles backwards and forwards. So I've got to take a little bit more weight off the bottom ones just to allow the top one to come across a little bit more. When I'm making like minute adjustments, a lot of it, more by, rather than sight, it's by feel. So I put my file flat against the bottom one, flat against the top. I sort of want my file touching the top, but my weight is pushing more on the bottom one. And I just feel, I feel that, so I just, bear in mind, I think that's enough. And then I'll try and do exactly the same on the other side, because I've been working where I've been trying to keep them the same. So touching the top, a bit of weight on the bottom. So, pushing it down, same amount. Still need to do a bit more. Still a bit of movement there. It's, it's tight, but it can be a bit better. You can always have a look from the side as well, make sure you like in how it looks, because sometimes one side, whether it's true or not, one side may look longer than the other. You can, on purpose, make things wrong to make them look right. So measurements wise, it might be wrong, but you get weird illusions like the sharpness of that cut can make it look longer even though it's actually the same. Just weird things go on and so you can, once you're aware of them, you see them, you can on purpose do things a bit wrong. I'd like say that one looks longer because that point's sharper, I'll file that one a bit more, I pull it across this way a little bit and it'll look neat, but actually you go around it with the digital calipers, you'll find uh, mistakes. That's a bit better now. I don't know if I'm showing up. You can see it's looking a bit tighter now. There's a tiny, a tiny rattle, but it's basically there. I mean, I literally can just paper disc it and get that, get that correct. Looking down there, make sure they're going straight across. Uh, yeah, essentially, I'm going to touch it a little bit more, but that is basically ready to be soldered in there now.